Welcome to the Albany Department of Recreation Summertime Podcast. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Shiloh. And we're here to tell you what's going on, when it is, and how you can participate. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Let, let's kick it off today. You may have noticed we have somebody else joining us today. So uh, why don't you go ahead and tell us who you are? Um, hi, I'm Claire Patnod. I am a assistant aquatic manager for the Department of Recreation and I am the manager at Mater Christi Pool. So my job is pretty much get the pools open and um, get everybody swimming for the summer. That's amazing. Um, yeah, and Claire's here today to just um, give you guys some information about the pool, let you know what's going on, some updates about that. So Claire, um, when are the pools projected to open? We are projected to open on the 26th, the, so roughly two weeks, a week and a half. Awesome. And where are the locations this year? So we no longer have Lincoln Park Pool, um, but I'm super excited for the new pool. It's going to be super exciting and super cool. Um, so our three locations now are Arbor Hill Community Center, which I'll give the locations of all of them after. We have Arbor Hill Community Center, Albany High School, and Mater Christi Pool. Arbor Hill is 47 Lark Street, Albany, New York, 12210. Albany High School is 700 Washington Ave, Albany, New York, 12203. And Mater Christi is 1134 New Scotland Road, Albany, New York, 12208. Perfect. That's awesome. So, um, so Claire, I do have some more questions about the pool opening. Um, are there any specific rules that have changed or um, do you want to go over some of the regulations? Yeah, so we have a lot of the same pool rules, but some have changed and will be enforced a little bit more um, strongly. So the main one, obviously, the lifeguards are the authority at the pool. So follow the directions, um, listen to them because they are there to keep you safe. Another thing is the age of children that are allowed to come in without an adult um, is now 13. So 13 year olds and under must be accompanied with adult. And this doesn't mean bring your kid, check them in and then leave. You have to stay with your child the entire time inside of the pool area. And if you do leave, we will have to take your child out of the pool and have them sit out until you get back. So we don't want that to happen. So please stay with your kid if they are 13 or under. Um, another thing is children age three and who are not fully potty trained, please, please, please get swim diapers and have them wear their swim diapers or you guys will not be allowed in the pool due to contamination. And we don't want that to happen either. Um, one thing that was being implemented over the last couple of years was life jackets. And that's been a really, really big question. And you can have life jackets, but they need to be Coast Guard approved. And we will check them at the door. And if they are not, you cannot swim at the pool with that life jacket. Okay, um, are life jackets provided as well or? Some of the pools they will be provided, not exactly sure which ones yet, but we can definitely get that information out to you. Yeah, um, I'll um, sum that up and put it in a post once the pool's open. Perfect. And lastly, we will be swim testing all swimmers under the age of 13 if they want to go in the deep end at all of the pools. So if children under the age of 13 want to go into the deep end, you will need to do a swim test, which your location will provide that. Perfect. That sounds amazing. Great. So um, I just wanted to ask a question too about uh, the lifeguards. What types of certifications do they have? Yes, yeah, so all of them are lifeguard, first aid, AED, CPR certified. Every single guard that we have. Wow, that's great. That's amazing. Yeah. Definitely keep makes you feel better about going to the pool. Yeah, keeping those kids safe and adults too. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and to enter the pool, uh, you will need to show your ID. You have to be an Albany resident. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's very important. Make sure that you have your ID once you enter the pool area. Mm -hmm. Yes, and also with that, um, you're gonna have to have an account with Civic Rec. So you can do this at home on the Civic Rec website, or if you don't have that when you arrive at the pool, we will need to do that at the door and check you in at the door. So if you want to go a little bit quicker entering into the pool, have that account ready to go by the time that you get there. Absolutely, very easy process to sign up on Civic Rec. 
Uh, just again, to reiterate, you must be a resident of Albany to use the Albany pools. And yep. you will have to show proof of that. Yes. You <laughs> and the people that you come with. This could be a report card. This could be an electric bill. This could be an ID. Any of that will work. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, that's good to know. So my question for you, Claire, is about one of my favorite things as a kid that I loved. It's about the spray pads. Uh, can those be projected for the same dates this year? Yes, so those are also going to open on the 26th, the same day as the pool. And those are open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. every single day. That's exciting. Very. So, yeah, a lot of kids are gonna really enjoy that. And adults, too. Absolutely. Um, if you have any questions signing up for Civic Rec, please give us a call at 518-434-5699 and we can walk you through the process. Also, if you want to stop by, we do have a computer in which you can sign up for Civic Rec um, and we'll be more than happy to help you. Claire, we've had a few people ask about swim lessons this year as they have been in the previous years. Is there anything you can tell us about that? Yes, so we are going to have swim lessons again this year. Um, that registration will be open super soon, so keep your eye on the City Department of Rec website so that you can sign those kids up fast because those fill up very, very quickly. And there will be more information about that on the website when it comes out. And keep an eye out on the socials, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because I will post once those signups go live. Awesome. Claire, thank you so much for coming onto the podcast and talking to us about pools today. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> thank you, Claire, for joining us today. Uh, you're amazing. We appreciate you. And we can't wait to see the pools open. Absolutely. I think it's going to be a fantastic time this summer. Especially, you know, last week we were talking about the sunscreen dispensers. That's going to yeah. be a really great addition. Yeah. But I think once these pools are up and running, people are looking at a fantastic summer. Yes, they are. Um, and also, a note on that, um, the sunscreen dispensers, they are automatic. I did not know that. <laughs> um, but now I do. So you just have to put your hand underneath and it will dispense out a decent amount of sunscreen to keep yourself safe. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I was trying to take a picture and I was like, oh, this is amazing. Like these bright yellow like dispensers and I put my hand under there and sure enough, sunscreen <laughs> all over myself. Hey, you know what? At least for that day, you were sunscreened I, up. You were ready to go. Yeah, I was protected. I but. was very well protected because then I did it again. So Caitlin, I did want to ask you about the Healthy Aging Fair. How did that go? Oh, it was wonderful. We had so many wonderful vendors come out. Uh, people were really enjoying themselves. And I think it really did make an impact That's on the awesome. community. Listen, Albany, we are here to serve you. You see we bring generations together. And although we may be small, we are big enough that we're here for you. Take care, everybody. There was this one booth that I really liked and it was cool they had like stuffed animals and they were like oh, comfort did. it was for like patient people with dementia oh my god I see those all the time yeah. at the hospital um like people will take their teddy bears and we mm -hmm. like have them because I'm I'm a CT tech too so I do cat scans um so oh thank you thank you so I see people bring in um these like stuffed animals yeah. and it's real it does comfort them a Absolutely. lot and they can bring them into the CT scanner like nothing's gonna happen to the stuffed animal right except they're gonna get a little a little bit of uh, radiation but that's okay <laughs> that that's such a great idea so what kind of resources were at the healthy aging fair there were a lot of vendors there who were providing resources for caregivers that were um, being able to provide information for seniors about different areas of life where they may feel a little confused. There was also some really fun activities and the ability to learn about healthy eating, um, good exercise routines. That's awesome. It was really wonderful. Wow, I probably should have gone for the exercise routine. <laughs> I struggle. I took a little <laughs> stroll around and that was my exercise. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome though. Um, that's great. I hope that they do it again. All right. I also wanted to ask about the sports camps. So what's going on with the sports camps? Absolutely. For the summer sports camps, we are currently full for three of them, but we still have two weeks that have available spots. Our first one is going to be soccer and that still has nine spots left open as well as flag football is not full yet either. There are only three spots left there. So you'll wanna come in and grab these spots while you can for both camps. And if you have any questions, feel free to call the department at 
518-434-5699. And you can ask to talk to me or you can talk to anybody there and they can help you get signed up if you're having trouble. Yeah, and you can sign up on Civic Rec. Uh, Just like all our programs, you can sign up on Civic Rec, make an account, it's all free. (laughs) So we want to just touch base on... um, facility reservations. If you're looking to have an event, reserve a facility or a field, go to albanyny.gov slash recreation. For parties of 25 or more, you're going to need to go through special events at City Hall to ensure the safety and regulations are followed in accordance to New York State and the City of Albany. Further questions, please give us a call at 518-434-5699 or you can call our field manager directly, Mike Pakatar, at 518-434-5707. We just want to emphasize how important it is to make these reservations with us, uh, no matter how small the party may be. Uh, this is just to ensure that, you know, you're being safe and that people who are also using the park are being safe. Yeah, and you don't want to, you know, get kicked out or anything. You want to right. ensure that you are the one who's going to be at the park or at the field Mm -hmm. that you plan to be at. So we just really want to emphasize, you can sign up and you can see what's available. And pricing will be on there as well. Thank you so much for joining us on site at the the Albany Capitol building today. I love that we were able to get all this equipment down there so we could record our podcast here. Yep, so sunny again. Yes, I love how nice the weather's been for us every time. Not cloudy at all. Uh, Absolutely not. (laughs) So thank you so much for joining us for our second summertime podcast for the Albany Department of Recreation. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Shiloh. And we'll see you next time. What sounds do you have on there? Um, Okay, so this is like our intro music. This is good. Right? That's like a pre-recorded thing. This is a banger. Yeah. (laughs) That's the air horn. That's my favorite. Claire, when I when I hit this, Uh can you? Does it change for you? Oh, for me too. Good morning, America. Where are we in front of again? Capitol building. Yeah, we're in front of in Albany. Not not like the DC one. (laughs) We're not in (laughs) DC. We're not. not. Yeah, (laughs) I could make us in front of the White House if you wanted. <laughs> so we're in DC today, guys. Yeah, um, we went on location. Yeah, we got invited by the president. <laughs> no big deal. Just to talk about pool stuff, honestly. Yeah, it's real important. Wow, my hair turned out so nice today. <laughs>